Hi, welcome to another episode of Hair Talk. My name is Dr. Joshua Chung and today we're going to be talking about why minoxidil is not working for you. Now what is minoxidil? Minoxidil is a medication that we've been used for, using for over 30 years um, to stimulate hair growth. Okay, in short, we know that minoxidil does have a stimulating effect on your hair follicles by making it grow stronger and thicker. It does so generally by the enlargement of blood vessels that feed your hair follicles. Some people who have told me that they have been using minoxidil tell me they have been using it for one month and they've seen more hair shedding. Now what is usually not told to our patients is that this shedding is expected. When you initially first apply or consume minoxidil, we are expecting that around the 4th to 5th week, some of these weaker miniaturized hairs will shed, that's called telogen, before they then enter the anagen phase, which is the growth phase, where we expect the finer strands of hair to actually grow thicker. If you were to experience hair loss after starting to apply minoxidil, you would stop the medication quite immediately because you think it's actually not working for you. So what we usually tell our patients is that expect the hair loss between week 4 to week 8 and suddenly you'll notice that the hair fall dramatically decreases. Hang on, keep using the product, be religious with it and you start seeing improvements in the hair growth by about week 16. What's largely quoted is about 100 days turnaround. So that's 3 months and a little bit before you start seeing hair sprout again. So minoxidil is available in a few different preparations or forms and you may have been using them. They come in a bottle with a dropper, uh, come in a spray bottle with a nozzle or spray bottle without a nozzle. Uh, there's a foam version as well as a tablet version or a pill version. So whatever version you have been using, you have to learn the correct way to use that in order for you to see results. Now in the first three preparations mentioned, uh, minoxidil is commonly associated with side effects such as itching or pimples on the scalp which we call folliculitis. Sometimes they have increased oiliness and dandruff and that causes a patient to stop treatment. A good alternative to that would be the foam which causes much less irritation on the skin and much less side effects and the patient can still use that quite successfully for a longer period of time. But my favourite is the minoxidil in the oral version. Why orally dosing minoxidil gives you a better outcome is because it's convenient, it does not depend on how oily your scalp is, it absorbs completely and converts to minoxidil sulfate, which then acts on the hair follicles to prolong the growth phase of the hair. It is also something that you can take in combination with your oral finasteride, which is commonly prescribed to men, and thereby increasing the compliance rate. Apart from all of that, dosing oral minoxidil in a capsule or tablet form does not cause any irritation. Now, some patients are not instructed properly how to use minoxidil. If you were expecting minoxidil to actually recover the hairline, spraying minoxidil just in front of the hairline and massaging it in will probably grow you very, very tiny hairs without actually reinforcing the hairline to be a solid, dense framing of your face. So minoxidil as a spray version has to be properly used. What that would at most achieve is just tiny baby hair starting to grow from the hairline without creating that dense hairline intended effect. Minoxidil as a spray works best on the crown or across the parting line where scalp is visible. Topical minoxidil has to be left on the scalp for somewhere between 1-4 to four hours for adequate absorption. Now, getting your hair wet or perspiring or applying cream or mousse or styling product to your hair could affect that absorption. Apart from increasing blood vessel size, new studies also show that minoxidil releases growth factors at the hair follicle. These growth factors actually stimulate the hair follicle to produce good hair. Minoxidil also does one more thing, which is increase the hair follicle's uptake of a very crucial amino acid called cysteine. Cysteine is found in protein products like red meat or fish or dairy products but you can also supplement your minoxidil usage with a supplement that contains cysteine using it with a supplement like bioxine which has 50 mg of cysteine with each tablet. Minoxidil is generally a very safe drug and is available over the counter. Now some people use this over the counter drug either correctly or incorrectly and they may have experienced different kinds of side effects. If you have experience with some of the rarer or weirder side effects, please share your experiences with us by commenting below.